So now let's have a look at MXDMA and get into the details of understanding why and how it combines the best of both worlds. And we are going to do so by having a look at a three site example sending traffic back from the terminal to the hub. Now what SCPC is all about is pretty straightforward. And the first thing we see is that despite of the amount of traffic that needs to be sent, the bandwidth allocation is fixed. Now looking at the transponder, this translates in the fact that each terminal has its own dedicated carrier and the size of that carrier is fixed. That's by the way what we know from its name. SCPC stands for single channel per carrier. So what we see here is that we are highly efficient. We can put a lot of data in it. But the problem is that we are spoiling quite a bit of that expensive satellite bandwidth the moment the application does not succeed in filling up that channel all the time. But there is some good news. Assuming the application does not fill the bandwidth all the time, and let's go back to that three site example here again, there is another bandwidth allocation mechanism that is called MFTDMA, multiple frequency, time division, multiple access. And what we see here is that the terminals actually do not have a dedicated carrier for themselves. So that is why if my terminal has actually nothing to send, I'm not occupying any bandwidth over satellite at all. With the advantage of dynamically sharing all the bandwidth among all terminals comes however a huge disadvantage and that is the efficiency. It basically needs a lot of megahertz to get to my megabits and that has all to do with the need for guard times and some other overhead. So here comes MXDMA and again with that same three site example and the same traffic distribution MXDMA combines the high efficiency of SCPC with the flexibility of MFTDMA. And how do we do that? Well, actually the secret is in the patent, whereby the frequency plan is changed dynamically every second. As is the case with SCPC, here too every terminal has its own dedicated carrier. But the huge bandwidth savings reside in the fact that that carrier has a change in symbol rate, center frequency, modulation and coding and power every second in function of the weather conditions and or the traffic demand. And yes, of course, in the whole process, not a single packet gets lost. That's the magic of MXDMA, cross-dimensional multiple access. So now let's have a look back and compare how MXDMA can save you a lot of money.